Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word lets you insert various shapes into your document. For example, you could place a circle around important document information. If you use Word to create marketing flyers, newsletters, or other types of creative documents, you may want to insert various types of shapes to add visual interest to those documents. To insert shapes into a Word document, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Shapes drop-down button that appears in the Illustrations button group. A drop-down menu of the various shapes you can insert then appears. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape you want to insert. Then click it to select it. Your mouse pointer then appears as a black crosshair when you hold it over the document. Decide where to insert the shape in your document. Then click and drag from the upper left corner down into the right over the area in the document where you want the shape to appear. The shape is then inserted into your document when you release the mouse button. You also have a few techniques available that can help you create your shapes. For example, you can hold down the shift key as you click and drag while drawing a shape to create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding down the shift key when drawing lines makes the line perfectly straight. You can also create perfect circles and squares by simply using the same method in conjunction with either the oval or rectangle shape as needed. If you don't care about setting the size of the shape as you insert it, then you can use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you still start by selecting the shape from the ribbon by using the Shapes button as normal. Then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Then simply click once at the place in the document where you want to place the upper left corner of the shape. Word then inserts a shape with a default size and places the upper left corner of the shape at the place you clicked. After inserting a shape into your document, the mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit Word's drawing mode. However, sometimes you may want to draw several versions of the same shape without going back to reselect the same shape from the Shapes drop-down button over and over again. In this case, you may want to lock Word into its drawing mode when you select the desired shape from the Shapes button's drop-down menu. To do this, simply right-click the shape to draw within the Shapes button's drop-down menu instead of clicking it. From the pop-up menu that appears, then click the Lock Drawing Mode command. Now you can return to your document and draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. To cancel the drawing mode lock, either press the Escape key on your keyboard or simply right-click into the blank area of the document. After drawing a shape, the shape should appear selected in the document. However, if it is not selected, then click it to select it before formatting it. After it is selected, then either the Shape Format Contextual tab or the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appears in the ribbon depending on your version of Office. This tab provides you with several formatting options for the selected shape. Many of the formatting options are similar to the options available when formatting selected pictures. It is important to note that if you have a text-containing shape, you should be aware of whether or not you have selected the entire shape or just selected text within the shape before performing an action on the shape. When text inside the shape is selected, you will see the text in the shape appear highlighted or see the insertion mark cursor appear within the shape's text. If this happens, click the shape's border to select the entire shape versus selecting text within the shape. This is important, for example, if pressing the Delete or Del key on your keyboard. If text is selected in the shape, it deletes the selected text. If the whole shape is selected, it instead deletes the entire shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.